let, let's let's start from the beginning. Okay. So, um, I referred you to a journalist who was looking for an opinion mm -hmm. about um, the Alora Mohawks um, putting a jersey in their what was it was it their arena? They wanted to put it. Um, I believe it was a renovated. They renovated an arena. Um, had taken all the banners, all the old jerseys, all the old championship banners down to do these renovations. And I could be wrong. Maybe it's a brand new arena. I, I haven't been in the building myself. They wanted to hang all the old Alora Mohawk, Alora Mohawks jerseys, championship banners, all for all of their championship stuff from yesteryear, as they say. They wanted to hang them back up. Um, I had heard very little of that in the uh, over the last i think i think they started a, over a year ago maybe two and i didn't really know the gist of it in, until you had uh referred this journalist to me and <clears throat> the ba basically what they want to do is i guess a laura city council um had to have a, several meetings over um whether or not it would be okay to hang something anything namely these banners and stuff that have the words mohawks um is it politically correct i don't know there's been several professional teams in, in several different sports that have changed their names changed their logo because there was indig a lot of indigenous people who were offended um I had the interview with this journalist. My the long and short of it is, I told, I, I said to this journalist, um, I've been a member as as not only as a parent but in the executive role with the Six Nations Rebels. So I've went there as a fan. I've went there as a parent. I've went there as an executive member to watch the Six Nations Rebels play the Alora Mohawks, their junior team. I mean, in the past they were probably senior teams as well. Um, and I've heard people say, we, we call ourselves Mohawks because we want to honor uh, your culture. We, and, and it's an honor. To, and, and no, it's not. My personal opinion, if you're going to say you're honoring my culture by chanting, let's go Mohawks, when literally the team that your Mohawks are playing against are probably three, the team they're playing is probably three quarters Mohawk. So if you're going to chant, let's go Mohawks, and then call our team and our fans wagon burners, dirty Indians. Where's the honor and respect in that? And that's 2024, May long weekend, a couple of months back. I was in Alora at a Rebels game, and it's still going on as of May 2024. I've heard them say, well, why don't you go back to the res? Are these people even aware that six miles on either side of the Grand River, Alora falls in our territory still to this day? So I didn't want to open up that political can of worms. Uh, it was it was very short. My my thoughts on it were: go ahead and hang the old banners up. I have no issue with you hanging the old banners up, but moving forward, let's look at if that is offensive. Why not change it? Their minor system, Center Wellington, minor lacrosse, ties in with Alora, Fergus, all all of those centers up there. They have changed their name from Center Wellington Mohawks to, I believe it's the Center Wellington Riverhawks or something like that now. So why, why is the Alora Mohawks junior team hanging on to this so dearly? If you look at their logo, it's a, it's a, a caricature of a, na of a native person with a headdress on. That's not even ours. Yeah, so, I've seen that. It was the Plains. So to me, they're a little mixed up. They're calling themselves Mohawks. They have a caricature of a Native American from, the, from the, a, a Plains nation because we don't wear big headdresses. <laughs> My thought, are they a little mixed up in who they actually want to be? Sure they are. Yeah, that, they, I feel like that's a that's a common topic in like 2024. As everyone talks about what is reconciliation and you know how how can we go forward and different things. And this is just another scenario of how this continues to happen throughout the world of just like hey, you know, we want to celebrate, you know, that that we are the Alora Mohawks. However, are we going to really acknowledge that hey, this was kind of wrong from the beginning? Begin with. 
Because they're not even willing to do that. They have like a city council thing and they're not going to do it now. Yeah. So it's like, hey, you just you voted on it in like city council. So they said no. But you still didn't acknowledge no. nothing. Nothing yet. So, still. So it's like, okay. On social media. What? On social media, a friend of mine commented because I shared the story that city council voted no. They will not hang those banners, jerseys, et cetera, back up. A friend of mine, just when I was sitting in the parking lot here, when I got here, on social media said, uh, I'll, I'll paraphrase, I won't quote the exact wording, but for all these years that the Alora Mohawks used the name of our people, should we be compensated for that? Well, I don't know how much like the Alora Mohawks, like I don't know what what that what, what that conversation would be. However, yeah, I, I see what I see what you're saying. So, food for thought, and for everybody watching, maybe that maybe you can you can throw a day a, a shout out on on these IG page or on the comment on the YouTube. Should the Alora Mohawks compensate the Mohawk people who they're so trying so very hard to still emulate? Well, that's uh, that's up for the people to decide. 